Greetings, Divine Radiance. Welcome. I am Nikila Asha of Ash War Scott Life Sculpting. I am a divine interpreter, interpreting messages and methods from the divine that empower you to create and live an abundant life. So today's tips and tools, it's a little bit different because I'd like to kind of combine a tip and a tool with a bit of a story, right? So I have been telling you guys for the longest now that I am moving across country and I am so incredibly excited. But as I have been moving, there have been some really incredible things that have been falling into place. And then there's been some opportunities that spirit has taken to test me, right? So one of the things I'd like to share, I was talking to one of my brothers in light and he was asking me for guidance on certain things. And one of the things he mentioned was mercury retrograde. And also I actually met someone at my favorite vegan restaurant and she's a life coach and she was here from Texas and we were talking and we've stayed in contact and we text each other now and then. And when I told her I was moving and when she's like, oh my goodness, you're moving during Mercury retrograde. And I didn't say anything to her. And usually I don't say anything when people talk about Mercury retrograde, but something that I'm being led to point out to you is this. Things have power because we give them power, right? It's not to say that Mercury retrograde is not real because it is. It's actually a real thing that's happening. But the thing that I'd like you to explore is how you are affected by Mercury retrograde and why, right? So I'm just going to tell you, I was born with a rare blood disease called hemoglobin CC. And what it is, it's a rare form of sickle cell, right? So it's a lot more than a trait but it's not the same as sickle cell. I spent times, lots of time as a, a baby and a, a toddler in and out of the hospital. Um, and in my early childhood, all the way through my teens, my early adulthood, I would have crises and I would be sick and you know just feel really horrible as a result of this blood disease. Well, I have, you know, oftentimes gone in and have had to have blood transfusions. I've had iron infusions and just different things. And there's been occasion where I would go in and the nurses would see my levels and they'd literally be like, oh my goodness, how are you surviving? Are you okay? You poor thing. And I'm like, what? I'm, I'm fine. Like, what are you talking about? Well, here's the thing. Based on what they saw, they expected me to be half dead. And this is not an exaggeration. Like they expected me to be so just out of it that I was unable to function, right? But because I've always said I'm normal, there's nothing wrong with me, right? When I started to tell myself that, and I truly believed that, no matter what it looked like on paper, I was like defying the odds, right? Because I believed that there was nothing wrong with me. So it didn't affect me the way it would someone that bought into oh no, I have this horrible blood disease and oh no, my levels say this and oh no, this means I act or feel like this, right? Same thing with PMS. Now, I'm not saying PMS isn't real, but I've had a hysterectomy so I don't even have a menstrual cycle anymore. But when I did, I never had PMS. Why? Because I'm like, I don't get PMS. And I felt that from the moment I began having a menstrual cycle. So I never had PMS. So what I'd like you to look at, I do the same with Mercury Retrograde. Mercury retrograde doesn't affect me. Why? Because I've taken the power away. So think about it. We have people that are driven by things that society has fed them, right? So we have people that typically are vibrating lower that haven't awakened or stepped into the knowledge of embracing their inner divinity. But then you have the spiritual people that have stepped into the knowledge of embracing their inner divinity. But yet, guess what happens during Mercury retrograde? You have those that are already vibrating lower, still vibrating lower, and then you have the people that are usually vibrating higher, vibrating lower. Why? Because they're given their power to Mercury retrograde. So now, during this time of the month, everybody's vibrating lower, right? Have you ever thought about that? We know that we are in control of our lives, and that includes everything, not just some things, everything. So what I'd like you to do is stop giving Mercury retrograde or anything else your power. Stop giving yourself permission 
to be disempowered during certain times or for certain reasons. Stay in your power at all times. Now let's go back, fast forward into today, my move, right? So I wake up this morning and I went live in, in my REM group and I share it with my soul family there, part of this story. But I get up after meditating and I look out the window and it's like, oh shoot, there's not three parks open, which is what Pod said that they required. So I was like, okay, Spears got me. I'm not worried about it. Get in the shower. Look out. Oops, still not available. Spirit, you got me. I, I know you got my back. It's going to work out. It's going to be fine. When I'm dressed, I open the garage, grab my keys, look out. Guess what? The parks are available. So I get in my car, I pull it out of the garage. I park it the long way so that I'm blocking off three parks so that Pods has opportunity to man maneuver, right? So then let's fast forward some more. Number one, they don't call me and tell me when they're on their way because they have a number that hasn't been my number for two years, which is not the number that I gave them, but it's the number that was associated with my name, okay? Then they come and they're, the pod is so small. Even when I showed my son the size of it, my son was like, mommy, your mattress wouldn't even fit in there. And I'm just like, this is crazy. But when I explained to the person that set it up what all I was moving, they said, oh, this size would be great. It'll work fine. That's all. That's the size that you don't have to get anything bigger than that, right? So, okay. So I let the person know, the manager, because I did speak to a manager, that it would be different. When she worded it, she used verbiage that indicated, like, I'm not an expert, but, and I said, that verbiage right there made all the difference. But when I'm calling your company, right, to schedule this, and I'm getting advice and guidance from you, I'm looking at you like the expert, and if you don't tell me you're not, I'm taking your word because you know more about your company than me and what size fits what, right? So long story short, uh, as I'm telling the friend that the friend that I met here at my favorite vegan restaurant, what's going on? She's like, I told you you're moving during Mercury retrograde. And I said, you know, I'm not worried about it. Spirit has my back. It's going to work out just fine. So when this was all said and done, not only was I able to get the bigger pot, which originally would have cost me double the amount, right? $2,000 more, I was able to save $1,000. She gave me an additional discount where I was able to save $1,000. I was also able to get it delivered later and have it here for less time, which, you know, for my complex works better because they weren't too happy about a pod being here, you know? And um, it was just amazing. Like Spirit was like, okay, here's your test. What are you going to do with it? Right? And it just worked out. It worked out, and that's what happens when you don't give your power away. Now, if I had sat around and I had bought into, oh my goodness, it is Mercury retrograde. Oh my goodness, that's why all this stuff is happening. Oh no, right? It would have just stayed in that state of nothing working out for me. But every day, several times a day, I say, Everything that happens in my life serves my highest good. And so it is. And I believe that with every fiber of my being. And let me tell you, I have tapped into my magic. I have tapped into my magic so deep that literally everything that happens in my life serves my highest good. And the way I've tapped into that magic is number one, through my healing, but number two, my unwavering faith. The way I was able to be in that state of unwavering faith was I healed. I released the emotional, mental blocks and turmoil that kept me in a state of feeling like I was unworthy or incapable of receiving everything that serves my highest good. Then let's go to when my son and I were going to get groceries, right? And he's hungry, so there's this place, they have vegan french fries, you know, the potato, not vegan, organic french fries, right? They sell burgers and stuff. Well, I'm vegan, he's vegetarian, but I won't buy him meat. If he eats meat, it's outside of the house, right? So anyways, uh, we get some fries, and as we're ordering the fries, I see the most beautiful ladybug. It didn't have a red, it wasn't a red and black one. It was more, it was almost orangey, but not quite. It was so beautiful. And of course, the butter, the ladybugs represent abundance and prosperity and good things happening and happiness. And, you know, and I was so grateful because spirit was giving me this beautiful little reminder of, hey, I got your back. And although we're testing you, you are passing the test with flying colors, right? And what I, you know, even though we know ladybugs come in different colors, but the ones I usually see are the red ones. But what spirit was telling me, even with the 
the ladybug, I don't know why I keep feeling like saying butterfly, but the ladybug was showing me that blessings may not always come the way we expect them to. But as long as we're able to be willing to see blessings in everything, then we can receive the blessing. We still get the gift. We still get the message, right? And today has just really been uh, amazing, right? This, this, this video, typically the tips and tools is quick, but I was like, let me share this with you because it's so important that we stop giving our power away. So release the concept of the idea that Mercury retrograde is going to disempower you and have you acting all wonky or it explains why wonky things are happening in your life life because yes the energy during that time it collectively we believe that wonky things happen so as a result more wonky things happen it's energy right that's why the media is used to bring our vibration down the news what is the news filled with everything that lowers our vibration everything that's in our food what does it fill with everything that lowers our vibration so if we've all bought into the belief that mercury retrograde creates wonky situations where everything feels like it's falling apart and that's what we're collectively believing and the energy we're collectively putting out there guess what's going to happen collectively why am i not affected by it yeah the wonky thing happened but you know what's stronger than anything wonky, faith. You know what's more powerful than anything wonky? The divine. You know who has the ability to manifest, allow, and create anything your soul or heart desires? You. So give yourself permission to be fully in your power. Stop giving it away, okay? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm about to get my butt to work and get some more packing done, but I am so grateful and honored to serve you. If you would like to schedule a personal reading with me or the reading readers on my team, check the links in the description box. We also have an amazing Reiki practitioner and we have an amazing shaman who is also a Reiki practitioner. So just go to the description box, look at all the links, click on all the links, pay attention to everything you see, play around with it and see what screams out to your soul. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be sure to ding the bell so you don't miss all the delicious yumminess that gets posted on the channel, okay? Thank you so much. I leave you with peace, love, bliss, and abundance. I'll talk to you soon.